Uh, thank you for watching this video and i hope i will add your add value to your time and i really appreciate you guys sharing your time with me taking it spending your time and watching this video so i uh, take this video as you want this is a kind of half serious video but call it whatever you want i called it a top five reason not to buy real estate this year if you've been in the market i personally know a couple of people that were like intending to buy real estate and they do have they qualify they have uh, finances to do this but they're just not doing this i had a conversations though those i'm talking about my friends close friends of mine they were coming up with different excuses and decided to make a video why not to buy real estate five top five reasons now first reason definitely is uh scarcity which is illogical to me personally there are really people who are scared that they will buy the real estate weird because for last 30 years even if the real estate would go down in price it will always went up so it's just a matter of time however I read this tweet on i think it was unusual whales saying of the homeowners who bought a property in the past year 46 percent indicate that they're struggling to manage their monthly mortgage payments due to the high interest rates per usa today uh, first of all if you are buying the property that you're not be able to pay for you probably either too young or very unexperienced because you have to have reserves you have to know what's your monthly payment looks like you have to have the right expectations set up in your place if you would not do that you would probably end up how people in 2007 2008 crash ended up has nothing to do with economy has nothing to do with recession however that's one of the main reasons i would say number one reason why people are not buying the real estate now let me tell you that actually weirdest part is that i believe about 40 percent of people in the united states have free and clear homes they don't have any mortgage out of those left who are 100 percent out of them i believe somewhere around 40 percent again they have mortgages under three percent rates it's pretty super low mortgages if you don't know the inflation rate somewhere official i believe is around nine percent right now nine seven something like that three percent is half of that and obviously the real in life inflation is much more than nine percent somewhere around 10 15 percent now if you're getting three percent rate interest that means you pretty much getting free money and getting paid by the inflation hidden tax to have the house now, i would say it's a fear the second reason is the pricing yes we have almost highest interest rates in last i want to say 10 years average interest rate the last time i checked was seven probably now it's eight percent everybody is expected to go to nine percent but the weirdest part is first of all the real estate is super local second is i goes to showing i literally showed the house about last week before last week if you guys don't know i'm a realtor i created in california who would be also accredited very soon in florida which is weird is people still sell the houses yes it keeps to stay on the market but most of the time if it's a good deal people just still offer more than asking it's called over asking bid and they bid each other and uh, the houses pretty much go for the crazy amount if you haven't seen the video i had a video couple i want to say last week it was i showed the house it was completely ruined completely ruined like you have to the best way to deal with that property is just to get rid of it completely and to build a new house they sold it for one million now over close to one million i want to say which is crazy uh, second reason is although the rates are high the prices are not in the most markets again it's very local but where i am the coastal markets the prices are not really going down except florida florida started to go down significantly but we all know that the florida market was overhyped like half of the new york literally moved to florida and they pumped up the prices everybody was buying airbnbs in orlando that was nuts that was not real market i hope that the real estate prices in florida will go down because average floridian still can afford to buy the house starter kit house that's what they call it live a decent life in difference from california where the prices are really nuts like if you want to buy a property in los angeles and i'm talking about single family house you have to have somewhere around 800,000 700,000 which is a normal person working in normal job would probably not afford that reason number three i think is a market everybody's is waiting for market to come down however i don't think that again the markets like new york markets like top main markets that are not rental markets that's how they call them they will not probably come down because the people who are living here 
they most of the time are highly paid highly skilled people they don't even if there would be a recession those guys have reserves they will not be selling especially Orange County where I live is famous for luxury living lifestyle people who live here are very successful people they would not be the party that will get some kind of recession hit and they will not be selling so I don't really expect the prices come down in this area same as in the Silicon Valley although San Francisco is I think now is a good opportunity because prices went down significantly because businesses started to leave this is pretty much what bad governance looks like sometimes it's good for real estate uh, renting is a number reason number four why people are not buying the houses I was renting myself for a pretty long time although I had some investments I prefer to rent however as time passed soon and you have some excessive cash in your hand you understand that buying real estate is pretty much good hedge against inflation there was no single investment I made that did not went up in the price until now and I was investing started investing about three years ago I definitely advise to invest your money into real estate as opposed to stock market as opposed to having them just in cash laying somewhere in IRA retirement funds or mutual funds or somewhere else because no other investment will give you the right to depreciate on the paper it would not appreciate as crazy as real estate did appreciate it even now I see crazy appreciation and uh, of course the main thing is that there will be always a positive cash flow if you're buying in the right places renting is much more convenient because you don't have to deal with a property I remember when I was renting it was so easy you just call the maintenance you know you call the landlord and they pretty much fix everything you don't deal with anything yeah it's convenient but that's like not really a long-term plan even if you don't plan to stay somewhere for a consistent period of time it's still better to buy than to rent because you can just sell you can rent the property after you move out and it will be cash flowing for you now number five reason uh, is I see this a lot too people do not have specific plans personally and this is something my best friend I was there was a period of time in my life his father was a ship captain and this was very interesting because he told he asked the same question from his father to which his father said that the main thing in the life is aim to have a goal you know, if you don't have a goal you pretty much you don't don't know where you're going although that went into my mind I would never never forget this there are people who don't have goals in life they just you know live day to day and this is not a bad thing it's just the way that some people function now if you don't have goals if you don't have really significant money that might be the reason number five not to buy real estate I definitely advise to buy real estate in any time there is no wrong time to buy real so estate so if you guys find a value in this video please do not forget to subscribe